Hey guys, so um, kind of random. Oh, I just kicked the camera. <laughs> uh, wasn't expecting this to come today. Uh, actually, it was my tracking said that it was going to be here Friday. So uh, everyone in the gaming world probably has heard of Kingdom Death Monster. Uh, if you haven't, it is a horror boutique board game. Uh, it's had two extremely successful Kickstarters. The first game, Kickstarter, I think was in 2013. Don't quote me on that, but it was a while ago. Uh, I think it got something like three or four million dollars. Game comes out, it is a beautiful, fantastic game. Uh, I've done a couple of campaigns for it, and then um, he did, the creator of the game, Poots, did a 1.5 update recently, and he went to Kickstarter for that update as well. Uh, and it got over $12 million this time around. So, uh, I got notification last Tuesday that my rewards were ready to ship. I just had to pay shipping. So I did. Um, it shipped out Wednesday or Thursday, FedEx, and wasn't expecting to get it until Friday. Uh, just happened to go check the mail. I uh, usually check the mail on uh, every other day just because I don't get a whole lot of mail. And voila! It was here. No updates to my tracking or anything saying it was delivered. It just showed up. So I figured I'd make a real quick impromptu video. I'm going to cut open this box real quick and see exactly what's in it. Uh, all I did was I pledged for most of the expansions, which we're not supposed to get until like 2019. <laughs> um, but I also pledged for the 1.5 version update kit for the base game that I already have. And then they he did this little gambler's chest thing during the Kickstarter where every day he rolled a, a pair of dice. And whatever the number came out, that's um, what was revealed within the gambler's chest. So I'm not quite sure what is supposed to be in this because I didn't really do my research. I just kind of paid the shipping and moved on. So let's go ahead and cut this open and see exactly what it says. Hopefully I don't cut myself with my handy dandy knife here. So I'm starting to learn that uh, cutting open boxes on camera isn't the easiest thing to do. So, so it looks like this box is only going to have the Monster 1.5 upgrade pack, which is according to this packing label, that's all that's in here. So now it should be updated cards and rule book and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and, oh, okay. So a box within a box, that's interesting. There we go. So, I guess I, I didn't know how it was going to be packed, so I <laughs> didn't open the box. Remember how I was saying, if you guys watched my previous video for Company of Iron, I was just saying how it had been a while since I had unboxed something that wasn't in cellophane, and voila, there's something else in cellophane. But anyway, let's... uh. Let's go ahead and pull this off camera real quick so I can cut this off without cutting into this nice box. I do have to say the the stuff that whenever he ships things, the box and stuff that he ships it, the, the, the packing material and then just the gaming material is freaking on point. Now, a little caveat to that, this is probably one of the most expensive board games I ever bought. Doing it through the uh, Kickstarter, I spent a lot more money than I care to admit. Uh, however, if you were to buy this game off the store shelves, uh, I think the uh, 1.0 version of the game was originally MSRP at $299. And I know now that the 1.5 is actually more than that. I want to say it's closer to $400 now. So... Definitely the the money is well spent in my opinion if you have the time for a board game like this. Ooh, that is that's in there tight. Come on, I love it when boxes. 
Oh, look at that. Okay. So we'll get a little bit. It's really, really nice embroidering on the front of that box. And then you got the 1.5 update pack on both sides. And then um, Monster right there. So not quite sure where that... Where is that? That's weird. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> I don't know where that freaking weird um, shadow is coming from. It has to just be my lighting. So this is good. I go through these a lot. So it's really awesome to have more of these. And these are going to be the updated materials as well. So they're going to have newer, uh, I guess the way that the game progresses and stuff is going to be a little bit more streamlined. Uh, first day settlement card. So that's, that's what you start with whenever you start a campaign. So that's nifty to have. And it looks like it's going to come with the uh, updated settlement cards. Get these cut open here real quick. So, yeah, I mean, the artwork on these is so fantastic, but you get all of those, um, trying to work some stuff out with a buddy of mine, uh, from the air force. He's currently still active duty. He runs his, uh, a car channel. We're trying to look into doing, uh, Twitch gaming where we can stream or record, um, some gameplay of this to do kind of a small campaign so more on that in the future if we can figure out the logistics of it and I think oh yeah oh that is awesome so in the base game um, and that thing is long still but in the base game this is like kind of flimsy cardboard and it doesn't fold up all that well and so I think it actually just folds in half and so up this upgrade is fantastic and for those that don't know uh, much about the game basically it's a three part season style game so for every every day in the game you have your settlement phase which allows you to craft armor and that kind of stuff and that's what this um, kind of tracks then you go into your hunt phase, you choose a monster that you want to hunt, and then you go onto this board and follow the rules of the game to hunt down the monster. And then once you've uh, either the monster, you either ambush the monster, you reach the monster, or the monster amb ambushes you, and you'll go into the next phase, which I feel like that's down at the bottom here. So let's just get show this real quick. Oh, that's cool. They didn't have one of these. Um, it's really, sorry, let's get that in, in focus there. So this is actually the steps that you take to play the game. Beforehand, there was just a chart in the book that I ended up photocopying because there's times where you will actually, I, I, I'd be playing a, a, a settlement phase and then get out of turn and some crazy stuff happens when you, uh, when you don't go in order of the playing phases. And this is really, really good cardboard, it's thick. Feels like it's gonna last for for a good moment. So um, I'm not quite sure what the tokens are for. It's really cool that they redid the priority target token because it shows you exactly what it does. Because if you look right here in the base game, this little circle right here was actually what the priority target token was. That's all it was. Um, so unless you knew what that token did. Um, by heart, you kind of really didn't know what the token did, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so it looks like the last little bit. Oh, that's the rule book. Oh, it's hardcover. That is legit. Look at that. I'm not going to take the cellophane off this just yet. Um, okay, I lied. I'm going to because I want to look inside it. This is really exciting because I did not 
for somebody who backs this and is really, really into this game, <laughs> I forgot a lot about it. That's the one thing about uh, um, Kickstarters is when something like this happens, you kind of kickstart it and then you get really excited that you kickstarted it. And then you kind of just forget about it because... It takes, you know, six to eight months. I mean, I've, I've heard horror stories that it's taken, you know, two or three years to finally get their items or possibly a reward, a reward, <laughs> refund. So, but anyway, so the cellophane's off, so you can see this picture a little bit better. Um, so awesome. And then he got the, it says monster. Let's see if I can get that to focus. You gonna focus for me? Focus right there. There we go. And then... The lantern down there, and that's cool too. Um, little uh, bookmarks for it, and it's legit. I like it. All right, so let's take a look. The art in these books just blow me away. It is so freaking awesome. So we'll just flip through it real quick. Jump to a certain page. Yeah. So there's the there's the start. This is actually. I think I just jumped to. Actually, yeah, so that's the tutorial. It's the first white line. So this is the actual tutorial level. It's weird that I jumped right to that. <laughs> oh yeah, so there's the there's one of the miniatures, nice res. This is everything that comes with it. So yeah. Otherwise it's a it's a pretty fantastic rule book. Look at this. Look at that art. Try not to give any spoilers for anybody, but I'm kind of all over the place. Sweet. So there's the rule book. And not quite sure what this is. Holy crap. There's more stuff. Um, yeah. So survivor number seven. Survivor number eight. Gold smoke knight. Is what the sprues say. And then... Yeah, so we'll have to. I'm gonna put some of these together, and I'll do another video of these of these guys close up, because not quite sure exactly what all of that is coming with it. Because I'm horrible. Probably should have done something. So yeah, and then they're just gonna the, the rest of this just updates the hit location. Get yourself a spiffy little dice. So these are dividers for the game because the game has a pretty nifty little spot where you can divide all of the weapons and armor and stuff. So that's what those are for. This is your hit location deck. So this tells um, hit locations and basically so the game's bosses that you fight once you hunt them down. They use a deck of cards to mimic an AI. And it's actually pretty legit the way that it plays out. It's very, very punishing. Tell you guys that if you guys haven't played this game, it before Dark Souls the board game came out, this was Dark Souls the board game. <laughs> so, um, Watcher, I'm not quite sure what these are. Hold on a second. I'm trying to do this unboxing as neatly as I can, but like I said, I keep repeating myself. There is so much crap. Uh, that's coming my way that I don't really know. Oh, so these are just more um, This is more of the uh, Cards so you can separate and organize everything in your box, so that's nice more AI cards um, So this right here for the hit locations this will tell you let me see if I got that backwards it's been a little bit since I played this but it should be on point with that yeah so got that a little backwards a little bit so there's still the AI deck that I was talking about of course but the actual hit location when you, uh, man, he really redid some of these cards. They are, wow, look at that. So that is definitely a lot more, a lot different, very much different. I can't speak. I'm, I'm, I don't have words because that is a beautiful card in my opinion. So, 
But anyway, I'm just rambling on because I can't completely remember. Just, you know, you got your AI deck, your hit location deck. That's what this deck is, and then this one. So with the AI, like if you look here, um, that's a secret fighting art. So it looks like there's more than uh, one set of cards in here. But anyway, so your AI stuff. We'll just, let's see, we'll pick out another one. Okay, so here's a hit location. So I have a feeling that the way that damage and stuff is done, because these cards have a lot more information on them than they once did. So I'm definitely going to have to get in that rule book and see what everything has changed. So I'm going to head, yeah, so then here's your gear card. Um, as you make stuff in the game, you can pick these cards up so you can remember. And then they got special rules, like if you complete uh, this green piece up here, if you complete that or you get a blue over here, you get special abilities added onto it for optimizing your gear, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing stuff back in the box, kind of go backwards here, just so I can keep everything organized. But uh, that was a, another quick and dirty unboxing. For this channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. This was a real big surprise for me to get this as early as I did. Um, and then just the aspect of how beautiful everything looks once again is just freaking amazing. Like, Alright, so I will stop rambling. I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching again and I will talk at you guys later. Have a good one.